Hello, Salinas Union High School District community. This is Superintendent Dan Burns with an important message. It was two years ago that the district began the first phase of the battle against COVID-19, which was widely unknown at the time. As you know, we were quickly forced to shut down schools and to transition to distance learning. At that time, we had no idea what the future would look like, but everyone pulled together to give our students the best learning environment. Now, the district is transitioning to the next set of guidelines, including new indoor mask recommendations. This first step in this transition will move us out of mask mandates to strongly recommending that we wear masks in schools. This new phase will begin at the end of the day on Friday, March 11th. Therefore, when students return to campus on Monday, March 14th, students and staff members will be strongly recommended, but not required, to wear masks indoors. We acknowledge that there are varied opinions about masking in schools. As we adopt these new CDPH masking options, we want to continue offering strategies for reducing COVID-19 exposure and outbreaks. We will continue to have masks available for staff and students as requested. We will also continue with mitigation strategies, including monitoring symptoms, testing, maintaining high quality ventilation systems, promoting hand hygiene, and more. We will also keep a great deal of focus on personal responsibility and respect. This includes respecting personal choice. Parents and students will now have that personal choice for masking in schools, with the expectation that individual decisions are respected. One should not make assumptions regarding someone's beliefs or health status based upon their choice to wear or not wear a mask, nor should they comment on that choice. Other personal responsibilities to consider are, students and staff should continue to remain at home when sick. Students and staff will also be encouraged to take a COVID-19 test if exhibiting symptoms and or if they have a known exposure to COVID-19. Since returning to in-person instruction, our facial expressions have been hidden behind our masks. We didn't have to self-regulate or worry about how our facial expressions might be perceived. Beginning March 14th, we will see each other's faces, perhaps for the first time, and some may have a difficult time self-monitoring their facial expressions. Thus, we will need to be patient as we observe facial gestures within the classroom setting so that we are not misreading this type of communication. Again, we want to thank our entire community for working together to focus on the health and safety of our students and staff during the pandemic. It's been a challenging two years, but with the science supporting this new phase of protecting public health, we can make decisions with confidence. Again, thank you and stay healthy.